he was just trying to bring another hero home. Now, the president bypassed Congress because he knew they knew about Bo. That's why he snuck past Congress. Then he used the leave no man behind slogan. Because the United States of America does not ever leave our men and women in uniform behind. Essentially to make Congress look bad because, hey, this guy's a hero. We need to bring him home. It's okay if we trade these five top Taliban leaders for him. Congress, you guys are, you know, a bunch of a-holes for not supporting this. Sergeant Bergdahl wasn't simply a hostage. He was an American prisoner of war, captured on the battlefield. He served the United States with honor and distinction. The reason Congress didn't, Congress didn't want to support it is because they knew all they had to do was read the Rolling Stone article. All they had to do was look at his past and find out that he was the kind of guy who would do something like this. Now, if Bo has a Congressional Medal of Honor, then I'm pretty sure Congress would have been like, yeah, that's fine. We'll approve this Taliban 5 swap. But Bo wasn't. And Congress knew that he was a traitor. And that's why they wouldn't back it. And that's why President had to go behind their back and sneak in for this trade to get these guys. So the question is, should the President be held accountable for this? Should he be the one who gets in trouble for these actions, for trading a traitor for top five Taliban leaders who will, some have said have gone back into the ranks of ISIS and are now fighting people again? InfoWars Life and InfoWarsLife.com is extremely excited to announce our latest release, Winter Sun, a revolutionary type of vitamin D3. Winter Sun is a premium quality vitamin D3 nutritional supplement. It is produced by extracting oil from healthy, nutrient-dense plants known as lichens. Every batch is analyzed for purity and D3 content. It's completely free of toxins and allergens. Simply put, if you want the best at an extremely low price, this is it. Winter Sun is the result of our pursuit of the best source of vitamin D3. The research and development took over two years, but the result, as verified by independent laboratories, is the best vegan vitamin D3 product in the world. Read the facts at InfoWarsLife.com about Winter Sun Vitamin D3. Not only does vitamin D3 promote a healthy mood, but vitamin D supports our memory and brain function, something the globalists are targeting. Visit InfoWars.com today or call 888-253-3139. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. This is an emergency broadcast. This is a direct message to the Department of Defense, all four branches of the military, active duty, service members, veterans, their families, state governments, local governments, and the media. We are going to display 100% irrevocable proof that there is a global move, not just here, but all over the world, to militarize police and to put standing armies on the streets to suppress the population and to carry out political operations. They have recruited in the last decade clergy response teams, preachers to spy on their flocks and to order their flocks to turn in their guns and go to FEMA camps during civil emergencies. The primary thing that we say to anybody is let's cooperate and get this thing over with and then we'll settle the differences once the crisis is over. Such clergy response teams would walk a tightrope between the needs of the government versus the wishes of the public. 
in a lot of cases, these clergy would already be known in the neighborhoods in which they're helping to defuse that situation. For the clergy, one of the biggest tools that they will have in helping calm the public down or obey the law is the Bible itself, specifically Romans. We have seen gun confiscation during emergencies in Canada and the United States, during flooding, going into high and dry areas and taking guns, beta testing if troops would follow the orders. This is part of a long-term societal slide. We're not becoming a police state. We're not in danger of being under globalist rule. We're already here. The president opens the borders without any law, shuts down power plants without any law. The FCC refuses to testify and seizes the internet. Obamacare has death panels. Veterans are put on no treat death list. By every historical measurement, we're already in a tyranny. And then Operation Jade Helm gets announced. It was put on the Army website last week. We reported on it first. It became a big, huge national news story. They've had Army Times, Stars and Stripes, hundreds of newspapers come out and say, Jones said that the military would take over and have martial law for Obama this summer. That's not what we said. We said Jade Helm infiltrating police departments, practicing taking over America, uh, interfacing to condition the public, was part of a long-term strategic plan to sell the military on this new unconstitutional mission. If we're against transvestites in special forces dressed like women, it isn't because we're against the military, it's because it will wreck the military. But they pose it like, you're against the troops because you don't want trannies in commando gear. Or, you're against the troops because you don't want them training in your city. Yes, because military and police exposed this to me back in the 90s. I interviewed the San Antonio police chief and others, how Delta Force came to them. It made the Associated Press my interview and said, we want to pay you $200,000 to work in covert operations to compromise him. That's what this 10-state operation, it was eight states, is all about, is finding out who will work with them during a martial law takeover. Most of the military is not involved in this. Notice it's special operations, Navy SEALs, Green Berets, Delta Force, and others that are running this because they're the ones, historically, that I've run up against doing this. They act like it's a detriment that I've been warning of this for 20 years in the Houston Chronicle. They say decades. It all came true. We're already in the police state. We're already going under a form of martial law. So let me show you some of the news we already went to in our earlier report, then I'll go to a smattering of the other evidence right here, much of it from the Department of Defense's own website. You have massive military gear being cached, armored vehicles, machine guns, helicopters, night vision, Humvees, with the police departments around the country. California has gotten the majority of it, uh, along with Oklahoma and other areas to population. Texas has gotten double what California's gotten. We have 10 million less than them. Oklahoma got basically double what California got, even though the crime rates are very low because it's about suppressing the patriot population, just like they have on the map in Jade Helm showing Texas, Utah, and other areas as hostile. This is pre-caching to fight real Americans that won't go along with gun confiscation, you name it. Now, when you see Infowars.com articles I'm going to show you, you can go directly to the site, click on it, and go to the Department of Defense's site. DOD training manual, extremist founding fathers would not be welcome in today's military. Close quote. Army-sponsored report suggests new police force. That's World Net Daily. What's that out of? A stability police force for the United States, RAND Corporation. This is the martial law plan that I've been covering for 18 years. War gear flows to police departments, New York Times. Feds preparing to invade Texas, list state as hostile. They are preparing, not saying they're going to invade or take over. They are preparing for the takeover. And that's in the John Warren Defense Authorization Act of 96, 97. They admit for insurrection by legislatures and governors. They just hope, just like Obamacare, you don't actually go read this stuff. Now, here it is out of the Army Times. Conspiracy groups question Southcom's mission in Texas. They even try to deny it's even going on. Defense Department guide calls founding fathers extremists. Fusion centers expand criteria to, to identify militia members, tracking the American people. U.S. military to assist in Vancouver. Again, this is years ago. 
our military being used in Canada, because under these deals, and Paul Watts is doing an article on this, the generals admit their training to bring in foreign troops to suppress insurrection. I'm going to go to that in a moment. Look at this in the New York Times. Scouts trained to fight terrorists and more. Disgruntled veterans. Read it for yourself. Gun owners. That's who they train nationwide to fight. Wellness checks is code for gun confiscation. Now have National Guard going door to door asking to, quote, see your guns, just like the police knock and talk, where they come and ask to come see your guns when they're legal. Troops in door to door wellness checks in Virginia, Ohio. And remember what we saw happen in Katrina. So that's just some of what we've covered to recap that it's a compendium. It, it's, it's the body of what's going on. It's the frog in the pot where it's done incrementally so that people become accustomed. And they admit in the Jade Helm report that it's about interfacing with the public and local police. It's a psyop. Now, let's go directly to the massive documentation. I'm just going to show you all these exhibits. And again, the Pentagon counters saying, oh, look, it's InfoWars. These articles all link directly to the article below, which is army.mil. Yes, the re-education camp manual does apply domestically to U.S. citizens. Three years ago in 2012, they started massive advertising for career specialists in the U.S. to run, quote, re-education camps. They even used the communist Soviet term. You cannot make this up. It, it's like the Nazis didn't call their death camps death camps. This would be like them actually calling them death camps, to call them re-education camps, because that's a Soviet term for a torture, uh, basically death camp. So in the Soviet re-education term, re-education is death camp. You cannot make this up. They actually use that term. It has the social security numbers, how to process everybody, how to break up the families. We've even filmed the drills, not just the manuals. And they counter and go, oh, it's for overseas. No, it, it talks about working with local law enforcement, social security numbers, and how the Constitution is suspended. Read it. Now, this is two articles out of about 150. Let's, let's keep moving here. This is directly for the Department of Defense, okay? Let's continue here. National Guard looking for internment resettlement specialist. Okay, mainstream news. Here is the actual document, FM 3-39.40, internment resettlement operations. And it all has dual use overseas, but it says specifically for the U.S. CFR proposes using Army to enforce domestic law. Go read their full report calling for the RAND Corporation plan to be implemented. That's from 2012. And you've got military drills in every city, every state, where they actually start arresting people, like up in St. Louis two years ago, East St. Louis. Uh, U.S. Army in a time of transition, foreign affairs moving to control the U.S., and then NATO has contingents of our Army and military inside of it. So the U.S. only gets to police itself under the U.N. treaties, State Department Memorandum 7277. So it's a 1963 plan. It's finally being implemented. This is the global government plan. That's why they're power grabbing everything outside of law now and outside of Congress because they're claiming they can do it through treaty and that's how the president's doing it. We're going into global government right now. Uh, let's continue here. KBR awarded Homeland Security contract, Wall Street Journal, $385 million to build FEMA camps. Wall Street Journal. Let's continue. Full spectrum operations in the homeland, a vision of the future. You get into these uh, Army War College reports and others, it talks about engaging the Tea Party. And of course, we can show you on screen, uh, Forbes and others saying how the Army would crush a Tea Party rebellion. Let's put that on screen. Uh, Ohio National Guard portrayed gun rights supporters as domestic terrorists during drill. Riot control, DHS spends 500,000 on fully automatic pepper spray launchers. That's nothing. Uh, Homeland Security, International Business Times, refutes conspiracies about 1.6 billion ammo. And then they go on to say, oh, we're not buying it for you and it's not unusual. It's now up to 3 billion rounds. And paper targets of children and women is what Homeland Security requested. Military says no presidential authorization needed to quell civil disturbances. Go read that report. And then they try to deny that's what this is all about. SEAL veteran, military leaders being asked if they will disarm veterans. Benjamin Smith, highly decorated Navy SEAL. Boom. Talking to top generals. Let's continue. Going to listen to believe him or are you going to believe the globalist? Okay? Going to believe the four films I've made with the footage of it or are you going to believe these fairy tales? 
Homeland Security report lists liberty lovers as terrorists. This got picked up by Fox News.